Cock a diddle day. Hi. Bet that's what he said when he was nabbed. When who got nabbed? Have you not heard? Do you know your man? Flop of hair, English. He's all fuck a diddle this, fuck a diddle that. He's flat out going to weddings with his mates until one of them, the fat bearded one, the scared, until he crooks it and they're all, we need to show this man a bit of respect here, let's stop all the clocks. He goes to your woman. Do you know her? She's a total ride, but she paper clips her frocks together. Well, he was caught getting down and dirty with some hooker in the back of his BMW. <laughs> Dark horse or what? Good morning, Michelle. These prods have some serious moves up their sleeves, you know. They're not as fucked up about sex as we are. They've put the work on. They know what they're doing. <sighs> they're people, Michelle. They're not the sex toys. I beg to differ. Home about a tree. This one's called boys. I think boys are really class, especially the ones who have a nice ass. It's called a haiku. That's not what I would call it. Oh, lads, you really shouldn't have. I'm starting to see that, all right. I'm going to keep mine on my bed, where I sleep, in my knickers. Right. As if a polar bear's going to rock up at a tech that concert. You wouldn't get a ticket for a start. They sold out months ago. You'd be surprised, guys. Aye, the only boys would get in where drafts wouldn't. Sure, the concert's nowhere near the zoo. But he's not in the zoo anymore, is he, Simple Simon? He's sauntering about Belfast without a care in the world. I keep up, Jerry. What I'm saying is that it would be quite a lot of ground for him to cover. They're quacking their feet when they want to be, love. Someone might give him a laugh. Who said are you on order? Come on, Mary. If you don't let go, then our mans won't let us go. Well, neither the shoot. And I'd be ringing them to say as much. Oh, brilliant! Right, listen, Gears. I've never told anyone this before, but sometimes when Robbie's being interviewed, it's like he's sending me messages through the TV. You know, like, telepathically or whatever. It's like he's saying, we're meant to be together. I maybe don't tell that to anyone again, Michelle. Ever. Be sexy, okay? Sexy. Right. <clears throat> I said be sexy, not be a fucking bluefish, Aaron. What rhymes with ride? Bide. Bide. What the fuck does bide mean? Bide? That's not a word. It is a word, Michelle. Bide. You've pure made that up. We're not going to get caught, Clint. Because as far as our minds are concerned, me and James are around Aaron's, and Aaron and Oda are around mine. But we're not wearing jerseys, Michelle. We're on the bus to Belfast. I can't. I cannot explain it to her again. I'm going to scream. What's in the suitcase, Michelle? Vodka. You brought an entire suitcase full of vodka? No. There's mixers as well, not a savage. You can mix vodka with cider, right? You can touch her if you want. Why the hell would I want to touch her? That's nice. Stop it! It's just a dead body. James, we're all going to be one someday. Oh, thanks for that, Claire. Yeah, that's helped. It really makes you think, doesn't it? Death. Just, just makes you want to... Do everything and just try everything. What's going on, Michelle? Do you want to say something, class? What is it? Prepare yourself, girls. <sighs> scones. That's right. What's so class about scones? Scones are lovely. I, I like scones. No, these aren't any old scones, girls. These are funny scones. Ah, they do look like a crack of fairness. Funny scones. They're jug scones! She's put the jugs in the scones! Too fucking right I have. I wanted to do brownies, but this was the only recipe my man had, so... We talked about this, Michelle. We agreed. No, we didn't. Anyway, drugs aren't illegal when you put them under food. Everybody knows that. Is that right? I'm not sure that's right. Any cops up here? I'll take that. What the fuck just happened? I don't feel so bad about missing it now. It clashes with my thing. The creep convention, seriously? It's not a creep convention. Well, I think a lot of perverts getting together to wank over some fella who fights with hoovers and rides aliens in a telephone box is the very fucking definition of a creep convention. It's a Doctor Who night. Me and my stepdad used to watch it when I was little. Well, someone should have called social services then, James. You're not going to the prom then, James. Look, I was going to ask you to be my date. I'm sorry, Claire. You were going to ask James to be your date? What the fuck's wrong with you? Well, it's a bit more complicated for me. You're a lesbian, Claire, not desperate. This doesn't do my baps any justice. Have you decided who you're bringing yet? Well, I've not done two. There's big Johnny Kelsey who works in Duns. Thick as fuck, but a massive, massive ride. Then there's this other fella. He's not as thick, but he's also not as hot. Although I have heard he is really good with his hands. And when I say he's good with his hands, I'm not talking about putting up shelves, girls. I'm talking Everybody about... Everybody knows what you're talking about, Michelle. Fingering? Honestly. 